It is coming down some big snowflakes here in Rainsville, Alabama. Some big ones. If it keeps this up, we will have some snow. snowing in Rainsville, Alabama. We love snow cream in Alabama, and so, of course, we were out of milk. That's the running joke in the South. The first thing that goes is the milk and the bread. So now I gotta do the embarrassing trip of running to the grocery store, which is not far down the road here, and get milk and bread like some dummy, but we actually like snow cream and we actually like eating sandwiches. So, not a big deal. We're not worried about anything. It's beautiful though. I just thought I'd share all this with y'all. Good morning and uh, uh, have a great day. And watch after your pets today if you're living in our area or any cold area. See you guys. Down here in Alabama, if it snows, we love snow cream. Now, some people won't eat the first uh, snow. But I've never worried about that, and we've never had any issues. So Tammy is getting some clean, fresh snow, and we're going to make some Alabama snow cream. And uh, I'll uh, have some video clips of that, too, for those of you that have never had any. It's pretty good. You don't know what you're missing. But anyway, the snow we had this morning is melting off pretty fast. Uh, and that's pretty common here in Alabama, so... It comes and goes. We rarely get as much as we got this morning. Occasionally we'll get it, but it's, it's not as often as you guys up north. So, Anyway, see you guys later. Oh, by the way, for those of you who have not met my beautiful wife, this is my beautiful wife, Tammy. She's sort of camera shy. She don't like being on video much. So, Hey, everybody. So now we're going to give you our secret recipe for Alabama snow cream. And uh, Tammy has had this recipe probably for years and years since she was a kid, I guess. It's not really a recipe. It's not really a recipe, but it's just sort of a, a mix. So you, get, you go out and get clean uh, snow. You, you scrape it off the top. We used a gallon ice cream bucket, so we probably had a gallon of snow. What are you doing and now? I'm pouring in about a cup of sugar. So, you know, you just have to keep adding sugar and flavoring or how much you want. And I usually do about a spoonful of vanilla flavoring. And you just mix your milk every how much. Usually I just add a little. I don't ever measure it out. And you don't want too much. So you want to just put a little and stir. If you can't stir, you got to add more milk until you can get it stirred up. And then I always have extra snow, so if I get it too thin, I can add some more snow to thicken it back up. We like ours thick. But it's basically just trial and error. You can you taste of it, and if it tastes sweet enough, or like it's got enough flavoring, you're good. If not, you just add more. And this is some really good stuff, guys. I don't know if I was raised on eating snow cream, so I don't know if y'all guys have or not. So the the biggest key to all of this is to make sure you scrape your snow off the top and get good snow cream. Uh, 
our snow to start with. So that's the key to it. So. And it doesn't work good if it has a lot of ice in the snow. Yeah, today's snow was perfect snow. So it was what we call white fluffy snow. It wasn't ice mix. Ice mix snow does not do well at all. It leaves hard chunks of ice. Yep. So you can see it's sort of getting a little thin. So she'll probably crush this up and put a little more snow in it. And, and that's why you have to do a lot of taste tests. That's my job. I'm the chief taste test. So. Make sure you mix it up good so your sugar and flavoring gets mixed up. Yep. Get all your lumps out. And everybody likes it different. And so we've never had a quote recipe like written down for this. This is just something that was passed on to Tammy and myself over the years uh, as we grew up. And so, and it's just something you play with until you master it like you like it. And so, but anyway, I just thought we'd share that with y'all. And uh, when Tammy gets done with it, we may show y'all some of the finished product. I wish I could share the taste with y'all, but technology hadn't got that far yet. But for those that have had snow cream, you guys need to comment below and tell us how you make it and, and tell us how much you love it. This is the fun part. Oh, that's nerdy on it right there. That is, that is good. That's really good. But what you'll have to do is, yeah, what you'll have to do is, uh, you know, have somebody to volunteer to do the hard part. And the hard part is testing it, making sure it's good. And because the, crit the critics are terrible. So if you ever get it wrong one time, My you never hear them. here are terrible. But uh, anyway, yeah. You just keep tasting it till you get it like you like it. You add you, sugar. And vanilla. And vanilla. And flavor until you get it like until you like it. Until you get it like you like it. You put a little bit of milk in it, you know, to start with, to get it going. You know, and then the milk and the sugar is just uh, for flavor. So And add more snow to get it not... Yeah, right. we like our stick, like I said before, and so we put a lot of snow. We'll use about two of these buckets rounded over in one of these big things. So, you know, what you're looking at probably, that's a gallon bucket. So probably three gallons of snow, but you lose it pretty fast until it starts thickening up. And, uh, but usually there's none left to put in the freezer by the time we get done. So... Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this. All right. I think we got it down. Good. So, y'all are going to be present for the first bowl. So, let's see. Uh, don't that look delicious? It's a little milky. I like mine a little thicker, but... We ran get, out of snow. Get, yeah, ran out of snow, and you don't get it perfect every time. But it's all good. Pretty good. Mm. We don't have taste division, but let's see. Y'all might can imagine how good that tastes. I wouldn't rub it in your face or anything, but. Mm. Oh, I got an idea. I'll have one for you. So here we go. This is your bite. Mm -mm. That's pretty good if I had to say so myself. All right. You guys, next time you get snow, get out and make some. So Tammy, tell everybody bye. Bye. So yeah. Hey, everybody. This is Groot and Bentley's first snow. So it snowed a couple inches this morning. It might have snowed a little bit more than that. Uh, if it snowed that much. I didn't measure it. But they were probably... Well, you could probably see on my truck. It was a lot more than that this morning. It's melted off quite a bit. And y'all might have seen in the earlier videos. 
of what we had. But anyway, the boys didn't want to come out. But when they got out here now, they're having a little bit of fun. But by the way, this is a good bit of snow in Alabama. Now we've had some big snows before, but they're really rare. So uh, we might get one every two or three years. But, but they're doing actually better than I thought they would. I thought they would be too cold or scared. Bentley especially. Bentley. Uh, he's <laughs> yeah, he's the one in the green vest. I guess most of y'all met Bentley. He's the one that always looks like he's got a frown. He probably takes more after the Pekingese. And uh, then Groot over here in the dark blue vest, he's more Chihuahua. They're Pekingese Chihuahua mix. So anyway, they're just having a little good little time out here running around and and uh, enjoying something different besides hardwood floors <laughs> anyway i just thought y'all might enjoy seeing the boys we we haven't had them long so we don't get them on very much <laughs> y'all don't get to see tammy much either so i thought that'd be good good way to get her in they love their mama and Tammy's got them spoiled, and Thomas, our son's got them spoiled. And they love me too, but they'd rather be around mom if she's around. So, anyway, y'all have a good day.